Matt, you ready to film that video? Uh, yeah. Hold on a second here. Are you watching cat videos? No. No. <laughs> no. Well, I don't know how that came up. Hold on a sec. Stop. Well, um, oh, well, I guess now you see my office. Um, pretty professional, really. Pure professionalism. A monitor, monitor, monitor. A diploma, a diploma. Business card holder. This is the number one professional thing. That's how you know I'm in business. I have a business card holder made out of a wine stand. People come in, I'm like, here, take a card. Now get out of here and go back to work. Episode four of a guy in a stave. We're running out of things to do out of one stave, except of course, if you want us to teach you how to make a candle holder, we're not going to do that here because we don't like candle holders. There's, we've seen too many candle holders, so we're making up our own stuff. This is the um, one stave business card slash pen holder, and as you can see, it will make your office look extremely professional. We've got a stave. This one's already been cut down a little. We're going to need to cut it down a little bit more so that it fits on to this piece of wood. The goal is to put it on here and to raise this up. If you have a radial arm saw, um, hopefully you do. Otherwise, I don't know how you're going to make this. We're going to raise this up and we're going to lower the blade in to make the cut for the uh, business cards. But we need a cut here and here so that it doesn't run into this fence. So first thing we're going to do is cut that off. Okay, so obviously I'm not recommending that you do anything dangerous. We are, um, we've got our stave screwed into this piece of wood. This piece of wood is screwed into our table and it's not going anywhere. And the, the blade is locked in place here. Um, we're gonna lower it into it while it's running. Made sure that it's well above the surface right now when we start it up. Just whatever you do, be very careful. get a chisel and we're gonna get in here and break out that thin piece because I went just a little bit wide doesn't want to go so now we're gonna put the holes in it for the pen holders um, we are going to drill all the way through. I've got it uh, set over to 30 degrees. Find the right size bit that works for you. Mark the center of where you want to drill. Clamp it on so it's on there stable. Got one hole drilled. We got it flipped around. We're going to do the second hole. gift for our friend Frank at Redwood Cellars. He uh, said he'd display some of our business cards next to his carving. So we're going to ma make this match. He ordered his carving in English chestnut. This will match it. So the trick to a good stain job is really good sanding. Um, stain's pretty easy, but you do want to make sure that you wipe off the excess stain really well. Otherwise, it's going to dry real sticky. So, you know, you cover the whole thing and 
then you just want to make sure to wipe it off, especially out of any cracks or anything. Now the staining's done. Um, we could stop here if we wanted, or we could put whatever time, kind of top coat we want on it. Um, in this case, we'll spray it with some lacquer, and it'll be all done. The uh, finish is all dry. We're all done. Let's see how it looks. Business cards, a couple pens, and it's ready for your desk. So that's project four of a guy in a stave. Uh, tune in next week for our final and fifth project.